It's been a big week. Mickey Dolan's in Athens, Georgia. The members of REM minus Mike Mills there with him as he receives the key to the city. They all were there for a special occasion. Well, the occasion was is that Mickey is putting out an EP of REM tracks. So it's kind of a cool thing. It brought back REM, except Mike Mills wasn't there. But that's okay, that's all right. But still, what a better time to uh, talk about this. Now with the look and feel of hand-tooled leather, Grant's Rock Warehouse. Welcome to Grant's Rock Warehouse, and tonight we're gonna take a look at R.E.M.'s 2011 album, Collapse Into Now. This was the last studio album from R.E.M. Uh, as far as I know, they're never gonna put out anything else, according to the band. Um, this is the Kraft Recordings issue that was pressed in July of 2023 of this year. This was also cut by Kevin Gray. So Kevin Gray is an audiophile favorite as far as uh, mastering engineers in this type of vinyl format. So we're going to take a look at this. It, uh, like I said, I am used to this. This is the original CD that came out in 2011. Um, this is Harsh. This is maximized to the hilt. This is, what else can I say about it? It's kind of lacking a low end to some degree. Uh, I didn't find this to be a pleasant listening experience and I thought, you know, why don't I try this? I don't know. I've been getting back into the whole audio file thing and uh, I thought, well, we'll give it a shot. I've had this a while, I haven't opened it, uh, but let's look at it. Um, here we go, anyway, here's the cover. It's got the uh, hype sticker on the front. Inside, the, the vinyl is housed in a nice, beautiful plastic paper sleeve. Uh, what can I say about this? Absolutely stunning. There's really no debris or anything on it. When I played it, normally what I do when I do get new records, I, I throw them in my record cleaning machine, I clean them up, because you know you don't want any kind of gunk on your stylus. So. But I didn't with this. This is very clean, and for the uh, listening experience, it was top notch. I didn't really hear any pops or clicks or anything, but what did it sound like? Well, you know, I don't have the best equipment on the planet. Um, I mean, I'm just using a Techniques SL1100A from 1973 with the sure cart. Here's the inner sleeve, by the way. Um, but what did it sound like? Well, like I said, this CD was pretty horrendous. This though, however, ladies and gentlemen, sounded really great. Nice, thick, rich bottom end, nice mid-range. The highs were crisp. It felt more alive and not restrained by that um, compression. How Kevin Gray was able to bring the life out of this, I don't know. Obviously the master tapes or the digital files that I don't know how they recorded this. I don't know if they recorded this on tape or not, but whatever Kevin was given, he was able to work with and produce something that really sounded great. Um, if you got the old CD, you're into vinyl, this is a major improvement because like I said, this original CD was <laughs> not, a, it's not a good experience. But if that's all you got, it will work. But like I always say, go to your local independent record shop and try to get it that way. But anyway, I'm just saying I just want to do this quick review since uh, tis the season of R.E.M. And, and Mickey Dolan's. So anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.